hello everyone i hope you enjoyed part one to my amazing <laughs> plant haul and nursery tour in georgia this is what i bought so you all yeah i had a budget and i think i went over it by 12 dollars but here we go i did buy the beautiful sculpture collection and as you all will see it needs full sun but i have a part shade home <laughs> part sun part shade or all shade in the backyard so i will have to come in here and continuously prune these pieces here so no growth will grow but this will be a beauty in my home for years to come Next, we have the Invincible Hydrangea Mini Marvette. You all, everywhere I go, I find Clarence plants. <laughs> and it looks like the deer ate these. Uh, well, that's what they assumed. The deer ate this plant. But we have new growth, of course, as always. New growth will be leafing out. Old wood it's easier to tell this variety of hydrangeas have strong limbs so it'll be able to maintain the blooms so of course in my pink garden we will have the invisible hydrangea here we have a blueberry um tree here which it did bloom as you all seen and i'm going to pair it with some sedums which sedums doesn't require a lot of water um, but I just love this color combination. I'm under planning this. And also I have an idea of, I'm going to do topiary. I'm going to take all of these limbs off and then shape this into a topiary and keep it like that. I'm going to really, I'm excited about doing that. Here we have elephant ears, which is a house plant, but you can bring it outdoors. I got this here for $16.99. I'm very excited about it. And you all, look at this combination that I have here. Let me bring this chair closer for you all. My elephant here. They're hardy plants. But look at this color combination here. These, of course, are salvias. I love this variety. I don't, I didn't buy a lot of them because I'm just going to pot them in a plant. They're annuals. So I'm going to pot that here. Isn't that violet purple beautiful? That annual with some shade loving, which elephant ears can grow in part shade also. But look at these two colors together. This is a perennial, which I featured in part one. So please watch with this hooker likes part sun, I mean part shade also, it can survive. So I'm going to place all of these inside of a pot. I'm going to do a topiary blueberry bush and maintain that. And of course, let's give this hydrangea a few weeks. So this is my plant haul, what I bought from uh, my ner local nursery in Fedville, Georgia, everyone. See you all again soon. If you are new here, subscribe so you can see more. Bye-bye. All right, so here's this new home, everyone. My full tour is coming this week. There's the hydrangea next to those three hydrangeas back there. You see one, two, three. So I added that one there. Here we have the sedums and the blueberry bush there. Make sure you put rocks at the bottom so it won't tilt over. And the last two are over here. I am very excited about doing my next plant tour. Look at the baby here. So because I couldn't plant there, and because I can't plant here because water moves, I'm falling in love with pots. And as you see, my son moves along my front borders. That's my only son. So containers is going to be 
Stay tuned for more. <laughs> Goodbye.